Hello and welcome to How to Fail. I'm Matt Hancocks, and unfortunately I'm not being joined on Snakecast by Amish today. Originally we were going to record tomorrow, but circumstances changed. Essentially, I had a uh, preview screening ticket of the new Alien film. Unfortunately, I didn't read an email which said that you have to pick up the ticket on, like, before the actual show, because it was two parts of it. It was, um, well, it was a double screening of Alien and Prometheus. I have to do all this again. I have to remember this for next time. Don't stop in the middle of the level. It's a double screening of Alien and Prometheus. Um, and then you get to go see an early screening of... Uh, that's why giving that prompt, you're not going to help me, bird. You suck. And then you get uh, to see Alien Covenant a day early. But I was an idiot, so I don't get that ticket. So I would have been seeing it tonight, but... I, can't. I guess I'll have to see, like, Aliens or something instead, just to whet my appetite. But, uh, I will be seeing it tomorrow instead. Now, this is kind of a... Pretty much, uh, what was originally going to be a pretty lazy Friday, which is why we're going to record, then kind of filled up a bit early. Kind of quickly as well. But, I want to, because this is a new show that we're trying out, uh, we still haven't released the first one yet. Which is a real big problem that we have with How to Fail, is that um, Amrish's job has him working luck, so he really can't help with no nope, editing or anything on the show. So it's just me doing all this. Look at me. Just me screwing up and throwing the snake endlessly into the abyss. This took it ages last time. Alright, definitely. Is there a save and quit option? Just a quick option. Uh, last time, if you remember last time, we were just about to go see Fast and Furious uh, 8. So, no. Yeah, that's kind of why we left it off, what we did last time. But that's like a problem that we have with the show is that it took us eight forever to get it out because I was constantly experimenting with um, editing, the speed of editing, how the release schedule should be, and I was trying to do that on top of everything else. And I feel like I've finally got a system I'm happy with for now. I'd like the episode... I'd like um, How to Fail to be daily. Just because, like, it's really hard for, like, to people to know you exist. On, on the internet in general, but also especially on YouTube. No, I'll agree. Because there's so many people doing, like, the exact same thing, and a lot of them are so much better than you, so... It's kind of hard to convince people when you, um, they're, like, putting out episodes very infrequently. So, that was the idea about... We did daily for a while, but it interfered with a lot of other stuff. So, I couldn't do everything I wanted to do. That's why I made it into... Uh, everything on my site is daily, but... Um, How to Fail itself is only on... F uh, four different days. So, it'll take us a little bit longer, but... We have such a backlog. I think we started doing this back in... 2013, but uh, that was like after me and Amish left university, and we had the idea before that, and a lot of it was because um, that was like when I like started to get into like achievement hunter and stuff like that. No, 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 no. Why does that keep I keep making the same mistake? Hi, welcome to Snakecast, where Matt does the same fucking thing over and over again. And the first one recorded was Golden Axe. Um, it was Golden Axe and Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden you might have seen on my old thing. I, could, I don't think I could save those files, so I don't think I'll be putting those back out. But the audio quality in those was way, way worse, because I was recording using the built-in microphone on my MacBook. Whereas now I've got a Blue Yeti microphone, and I'm using uh, Adobe Audition. So everything like comes through a lot better. I'm still... Still working out the kinks, will occasionally have like audio flubs. That's generally because like I'm an idiot and don't know what I'm doing. So we're still learning, we're still growing, uh, finding new ways of challenging ourselves. Speaking of challenging, this stupid coin is going to be the death of me 
probably literally. So we've been recording since 2013. We have a lot of series in Rebel. Like, we're still putting out Metal Gear Solid. Now, let's just look at the files. I was like, we finished that game back in January of 2016, and we were playing it since 2015. Hello! Wait, that was a. I, I pulled like the left trigger. It's supposed to grip on. Why isn't it gripping? Come on, noodle. There we go. That's because me and I are just like meet up a week if we can. Sometimes we can't, and a lot of that's because we live so far away, and it's just kind of a pain to drive him back and forth, and he can only stay for a couple of hours. At the time of making this, we're looking into finding a place together. It's just trying to find a good compromise because uh, he has a job over in Liverpool and I've got a job uh, over in Warrington. So it's just trying to find a place where we both, could both get to. I mean, it's easy for me because I can drive and I've got a car, but Amish, like, he works in the middle of Liverpool, so he has to get a train. On top of that, his job has him doing nights. So, like, stupid hours as well. Like, sometimes when I feel bad about my full-time job, I just think, oh, I wish I was so much worse. Now I'm making progress. Now we're cooking with gays. All right. Ugh. So, hopefully when we can do that, we can actually, like, record a lot more often. And I'd love that, because the entire reason that I want to do this, because, like, even when, like, we were first playing this, we already knew there was, like, a lot of competition that, like, Nobody can really make a name on YouTube anymore, I don't think. But for me, it was more about I wanted to keep in contact with my friends, especially Amish, after we left university, because a lot of them, like, we kind of scattered to the winds. Like, Chris, who has been in a lot of our stuff, uh, he lives over in Wales, technically a different country, even though it is still part of the UK. I think it's like half an hour's drive. So that's like an hour's drive there and back. Like, full journey. So that's why I don't really see him as much as I'd like. On top of that, he has his own working hours. It's just trying to... Just one of those situations where... Uh, I just can't get... You can't really see the people that you used to. And unfortunately... Oh. Bugger, 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 bugger. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Book up, save me. Book up. Come on, save. Book up. Uh, so that's why I wanted to do How to Fail, because it was just like an excuse to have like a goal to work towards. Like, hey, come over and we'll do a bit more of this game. And it's just a reason to talk with people and act goofy. It's like stuff that we were doing anyway, like online or when we play together. But we have, like, that incentive to, like, call it work. And, like, actually have a goal to work towards. So we have, like, you know, it's a project. It's like, hey, come over, we'll do a little bit more of it. It's that kind of thing. It's one of the reasons why... Ugh. The show is so important, why I kept up with it, despite the fact that it really isn't all that high on my priorities list. For a while, it was on Battle Misfit, because um, Aston, the creator of Battle Misfit, was starting his own channel, and I was like, I said I'd do Let's Play soon. I did a couple, I did one in Maxbo, I did some in um, Batman Arkham Origins. Bugger, bugger, bugger. There we go. And we had Chris, who's going to do his own channel, Beanie Hat Gaming, though he's taken a bit of a hiatus. If you've been to his channel, you'll know why. But still, like, check out his old stuff. Um, and then it kind of got to a point where. I wanted to do How to Fail as well, I wanted to do my own thing, and he was just like, why don't I just do How to Fail and Batman's Fail, and we did that for a while. But, then I kept having like, to take breaks from things. Like, because like, I wanted to work on other projects. Like I said, this really wasn't like, that high my approach, so I'd get into like, a burst where I'd do a whole bunch of them. And they'd like, everything else needs attention to, so I went and did that. There we go. What? 
Gotcha. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 You keep your big doofy head there, snake. Put me up, bud. There we go. There we go. Aha. Now we're doing it. All right. What was I talking about? Ah, trying to backtrack from my thoughts now. Here, what happens? Yeah, Bell Misfit. So, um, and then it got to a point where Aston was having trouble getting like reviews out on time, and like everybody else was like had their own thing. So we decided to take a break for a bit. We've like been toying with the idea of starting it up again, but and like. Just like reorganizing a lot more. My side of things, the YouTube side of things, uh, a lot of it was going to be um, bringing some of the How to Fail stuff over there. And we actually have some compilation videos over there. I think we have three episodes at the time of making this. I'm making the fourth one today. There we go. There we go. Just so we got some content, we want to have reviews and stuff. Uh, but I decided to move How to Fail over to my channel. And it was a decision whether or not to make How to Fail its own channel or to have it on mine. And the conclusion we came to was, uh, it was actually based on something Angry Joe said in a video, where he said he doesn't understand why people divide their content. And you can kind of see both sides of it, because not everybody wants to see Let's Play stuff, some people just want to see other stuff, which is why stuff like Achievement Hunter spirals off into like their Let's Play channel, and their main channel, and of course the news channel, and all that kind of stuff. There we go. But I guess the idea was like... How am I supposed to get, like, a bunch of people? I could barely get people to see one channel, let alone. There is no way back up. I've just wasted my time and yours. Don't fall. Don't fall. Ah, this bird has really saved my ass today. There we go. Yeah, I could barely get, like, people to see one channel. You think I could, like, manage two? So, that was the reason for that. It was just to have, like... Because, like, I didn't know if Battle Misfit was even going to start up again. And I wanted to make sure that... You know, the stuff that I was making was all safe. So I decided to move everything over to my channel. Just, like, brand it all my own. Uh, there was actually, like... A lot of arguing early on about the style of How to Fail. Because I think the original colors I was, like, pink and blue. Which are, like, two very... I kind of want to like give like this idea of like fun and energy, and it was like I really had to fight for it, but I couldn't get anybody to agree with me. They were just like, "Okay, what color should I go with?" And they were like, "I don't know, but anything but this." Yeah, and like Jamo and Amish were both on board. Jamo was like still kind of path out of He doesn't do the videos anymore. Have you like? Saw our old stuff about Misfit. We did the alien one together, and we've also done some other ones which we haven't put out yet. But JMO just like came to the conclusion that he really wasn't comfortable on camera or a microphone. He just like he didn't like that pressure to perform. And so, respectfully, that's why he isn't in videos. But he does still do music stuff for me. Like he did the theme song for House Fail. He does like uh, incidental music, which I use in playing Devil's Advocate and stuff like that. And he's also been, like, helping me behind the scenes to improve the audio quality of the episodes. It's not like he isn't involved. He just does, he just, like, he wants to be, do it from the shadows. He's the man behind the curtain. No. Not necessarily pulling the strings, but he is conducting the orchestra, if you will. There we go. I'd love to get, like, more of my friends there because... There we go. I feel like I'm getting up traffic here. But that's like... Yeah, that's pretty much why the show is where it is today. And what do I want to do in the future? Well, um, I'm looking into getting more editors. The problem is that, like... Did I just go around a big circle? I swear I've been here before. The story of my life just constantly going around a loop. Ugh. Ouroboros, the game. Just keep eating my own tail forever. Go on. Go on, Snake. You can do it. Yeah, I want to do, like, 
definitely a lot more like structure content because I know like a lot of people like feel like let's play should just be you know improv and yeah improv's fine and like I feel like me and I are definitely getting better at it but at the same time I do like doing structured content a lot more it's just it's the kind of videos that make me laugh a lot more when I've got time to like think about it and try and like think about it be funny like the hitman ones which I'm making right now those are the those are the ones that like I really like doing the most because like I spend time like thinking about what would be funny because I've played that game so many times there we go but at the same time like things would happen that I didn't see coming like for example in the first episode where like a guy's leg starts glitch he does like this weird stupid run cycle like stuff like that just kind of happens as well. So there is like an a uh, like an air of improvisation from, that comes on the fly. There we go. But for the most part, it is like stuff that I thought about beforehand. It's, co it's a combination of the two. But I'd like to do more of that. There we go. Yeah, I've got a lot of plans for the channel in general because I want to like branch off into more sketch comedy stuff. I want to hopefully bring voiced and versions of Rain Legacy in my comic series to YouTube at some point. So here's something. No, not really. I'm just focusing on these. I'm a very single-minded snake. I didn't hear anything. I don't think of even God is. Uh, for the Steve, for the channel in general, for the site in general, I want to bring Ray Legacy to uh, YouTube as a way of like promoting it, as well as like because like I do like quite a bit of voice acting work, or I did. I can't slow down for a bit, but I wanted to give like more of a shout out to like other people who are just getting the start. Look at me. At the time making this, I'm in the middle of um, writing Metal Gear 2 Debridged. I uh, already did the first game. And it's just kind of like spiraled up into this thing where I want to do the entire series. I've already got plans that I want to do for the other games, but no. For now, we're just working our way through. And right for that's going well. So I do have a lot planned for this channel. Now, now that I just kind of like. I think it's just very typical of me that I will finally get myself in a position where I'm like everything structured and stable I'm like I'm actually getting like stuff done and then I'll think to myself how can I screw myself over by making more work but at the same time I never want to like stagnate I want to grow and flourish I want to spread my snaky wings and pick up a snake of another snake by the tail and drag them up if you get my metaphor There we go. There we go. Uh, this whole snake ass thing kind of happened by accident. Because, like, um, I mentioned the first episode that we interviewed the guys for Val Misfit. Uh, and a bunch of videos that we lost the footage for, which I'm still really angry about. But, well, angry is not really the right word. There isn't. All the main things that get me angry. Frustrated, I guess, would be the word. I just need to find this last coin and I'll be done with this place. Um. What was I saying? Yeah. So, I wanted to play this because, like, we interviewed the guys and it looked like a really fun game. I was like, yeah, I definitely want to check this game out. as a full release. There we go. This very soon was, like, probably the most interesting thing at that Play Expo. It was a. Uh, it really wasn't like that big a convention that year. Ugh, bugger me. I want to go. I want to go next time as well. There we go. Mainly because it's like I don't know. We tried 
EGX one year, and I didn't like the big convention as much. It was like, there was so much to do, and you couldn't really talk to that many people. It was a lot of, like, stations where people weren't manning it. Like, there was actually a game there for someone I knew. A friend of mine and Mike's from university. Check out his stuff, uh, Joel Sinclair Strange. Yeah, right. Yeah, all this stuff. So, the reason we haven't played any of his stuff is because he keeps putting stuff on PC. Uh, we put stuff on Xbox, we could actually play it. Because I don't have a good gaming PC, and we still haven't got the capture right on Amish's. And if you saw like a Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, you'd know why. Because that stuff was a mess to try and sync the audio. It kept desyncing. So it was like, a lot of times it was like synced around jump scares. Bugger me. Unfortunately, I couldn't save those episodes. Or fortunately, as the case may be. But that, I think that'd be another advantage of like, yeah, having me and Amish live in the same house. At the very least, a lot closer. Be that we could reach up. There we go. We could help each other a lot more and stuff like that. Uh, we could, like, work a lot harder on, like, PC stuff, which I'd like to do. There we go. But, anyway, back to Snakecast. Got off topic. Um, I feel like I did that a lot. So, we were playing this game, and, like, I couldn't really think of, like, that much to talk about in the game itself. But it was, like, a very laid-back game, and we were both really enjoying it. Like, this is how I know it was good. Like, as soon as Amish got home, he had, like, downloaded his own copy and was playing it at, um, at home. There we go. And uh, we just kind of came to the conclusion that it was a layback game and wanted to play more of it. And it seemed like a good opportunity to do, like, just more relaxed talking stuff. Uh, we did, like, an episode of something called Minecast ages ago. I think we'll start that back up again once Snakecast is done. Hopefully, I'll try and get some more people in that. But the idea is that uh, what I wanted for Minecast was that we would start with like a flat world or like an empty world, and that we would just build on that over time. Every time we came on, and we would talk about anything that was like movies or news or anything like that. Yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't record with Iris this week, so if I can't get anybody, I'm gonna have to do this on my own. But this felt like a good opportunity for you to understand what the process is behind How to Fail while it's taken so long for this thing to come out. Uh, and why I want to do it in general. But I think what it ultimately is about is about being an idiot with friends and being able to share those moments. That's my whole motivation. Though my motivation right now is to find this coin. I don't want to... There's like, there really isn't that much to interact with. Occasionally, like, we'll get stuck on a little puzzle on this and then we'll be just like frustratedly talk about it, but most of the time we just want to, you know, shoot the shit as it were. Shoot the shit. I just want to use this as an opportunity. If you're watching this video, Please comment and tell us what you think about how to fail in general. That's what I'm really interested in because um, I feel like one of the most frustrating things when you're first starting out like this is that you don't know what works. And so you don't know like what you could do to attract more views outside of like click baity thumb tight like thumbnails and stuff like that. I feel like the most click baity thing that we did was the stuff for Evo. Where we talk about how it's the worst game ever and we hate it. Which, 100% real, by the way. I, like, going back over those episodes, I forgot how much I hate that game. Like, it, it actually hurts my head to edit it, but that's what I was like. I've still got a piece of energy now, so. But, I want to know what you think. Do you even like this snake cast thing? Would you rather just, just play Minecraft or something like that? Is there any games that you would like us to play? Is there any content that you think would be 
cool from this kind of channel, and not just Let's Play stuff, it's like... Anything, any kind of content. Just... Anything, any suggestion will do down in the comments, or you can send me a pigeon if you're so inclined. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Because I really, really want to know how I can make this better. And how I can make this more entertaining. I've got like four minutes of this episode left. And I have officially run out of things. So I didn't think I was going to be able to fill a full half an hour just talking bullshit. But there you go, I guess that is the power of bullshit. I was able to keep on topic for the most part. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off here, find the last coin and energy piece, and then we'll end the episode with me getting them. Okay, finally found the bloody thing. There we go. This thing about these, you know, 3D platform games. Really got to explore everything. Okay, so we got all the energy, we got all the coins, we got all the things, we can go on our merry way. And I can move on to something else. So. I guess that brings us to the end of Snakecast today. Uh, like I asked before, please, please tell me... Oh dear, what's going on? This is unusual. Hmm. Hey, you just took my thing! That was a gift for me. I did all the work. Hang on, I don't really have hands so much to grab it, but still. But I do. What, what is the plot here? Apparently I saved the world. I thought I was just collecting things. Collected all of Earth's wisps. Bell doors. What, there's different realms? What? The time trial mode. I guess that'll be easy now that I know where everything is. Alright. So we're gonna leave this on a fucking pun. Again, please. Ooh! New environment. Soggy. <laughs> Oh, bold door, as in rock. This game, this is this game, and it's punch. The alliteration, I'm actually okay with. All right, so next time on Snakecast, we'll explore number five. Hopefully, I can convince someone else to join me for this. And we'll talk about the week that was. Uh, potentially, hopefully, we can get Chris in the next episode. So that'll be a lot of fun. Until then, take care now. Bye-bye then.